What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today is Sunday and we have soccer all day today. Braylon has a soccer game this afternoon and she has another soccer uh, tryout for another team. We are in Baltimore today for her regular season game. Uh, we are already here. Braylon has just headed up to start warming up and then we have a fun day that we're going to enjoy in between this game and the evening tryout and we're going to go downtown to the inner harbor and check things out uh, find a good restaurant to eat at and find some fun activities to do while we waste some time before we have to head over to the next soccer event so we just thought we would bring you guys along i know a lot of you like to watch braylon soccer <laughs> Come on, Braylon. Go, go. Come on, girl. Go, 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 go. Raylan's game is over and they, what was the score? 2-0. So proud of these girls. They won last week and this week, so they are undefeated. Of course, they're only two games into the season, but still. Um, all right, so we are all hungry. Like I said, we are in Baltimore, so we are going to go down to the Inner Harbor. We're going to go get some seafood. Braylon is looking forward to a reward of winning the game of eating some crab legs. We're going to have some crab legs. Um, I can't wait to eat some crab cake, just anything we can get seafood. I am from Maryland, so seafood is a big thing for us. And anytime I'm in the Baltimore area, I have to get seafood. And then after we're done, we're gonna walk around the harbor. Hopefully we have a little bit of time. There's a couple shops down there that Braylon wants to go to. So we're gonna hit them up, walk around the harbor, show you guys how beautiful it is down there. It is such a beautiful day. Um, but unfortunately, we are really short on time because Braylon does have that soccer tryout at 6.30 and we're about an hour and a half from where the next location we have to go. Um, so I'm not sure how much time we're gonna have. You want to show them how you do it? Oh, there's a big piece. Ooh. Oh, that's a nice one. Nice and slow. Nice and easy. There it is. Mm -hmm. I'm so jealous. Dipping in some butter. Oh, yeah. Is that good? Yeah. 
Don't break it. Oh, you broke it. Did you break it in the shell? Oh, no, you didn't. It's barely hanging. Dip it in the butter. And. All right, here's what I'm having. Crab cakes, they are delicious. Got some hush puppies. He's got some fried shrimp. He didn't really good. You like the hush puppies? Let me try. Oh, onion ring, they're really good too. All right, so we're down here at the harbor now. The restaurant that we were eating at was over there by the Domino's Sugar Building. So we drove all the way over to the other side of the water, basically to come over to the Inner Harbor Plaza. This building right there with all the different colors, that is the Baltimore Aquarium. We don't have time today, but they have these little dragons that you can rent their paddle boats. And then they also have these little pirate ships, which they don't have one sitting here, but you can see them out in the water here. And they're fun, we've done this before, but with having to try to get to Braylon's other soccer tryout, we do not have time to rent one of these today, but it's a beautiful day if we yes. did have time. Look at this one. This one reminds me of like a watermelon. They have so many. Oh, I like the coloring of this one too. Red, white, and blue. So many. Here's some glittery ones. There's a whole wall. They have some pop bracelets and they have mini poppets. In this little fish and the heart. Oh, look at the little duck. One of your favorite candies, right? But the bag that we always get of high shoes from Five Below does not have what flavor in it. Well, the acai and the uh, candy pop popcorn Twix. Twix is your favorite chocolate bar. Are you gonna try that? We have not started collecting these yet. We did get the pickles. But they have the whole series in here. The only ones that we've ever seen at the store local to us were the pickles. That's why we got that one. Um, but they have the whole series here. They're called Cat's First Pickles. And look at all the different characters and colors that they have here. If you guys collect these, comment below that you have this collection. They're just so cute. They have the big size ones too. They have like um, beads in the bottom of them, and then the rest of it is like stuffed animal, like filling. I saw them. Is this the first? This is the series the one, right? Forty plus. Oh uh, wait, but over here. Oh, so it's the second. No, it's unboxing. Oh, forty new ones. ones. Of course, Braylon is digging into her Squishvilles because she never has patience to wait until we These get are home. Series two. They're series two, so they're brand new. What is that one? What is that? It's a unicorn. No, wait, look at the back of it. I don't think it's a unicorn. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, it's so cute. It comes with a crown. Oh, okay. Another unicorn. Another? Wait, the same exact one? No. Oh, just a different type. Okay. Let me see it all dressed up. <laughs> all right, how many did you get? Three. All right, let's see the last one. It's a unicorn. Mermaid. It's a unicorn, right? A Three. unicorn. Oh. It's a unicorn kitty, but it turns into a mermaid. So it's a. A mer kitty. A mer kitty. <laughs> no, but you have it. You. Mer itty. Mer itty. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, how do you put mermaid and kitty together? And unicorn. I don't even know. Una kitty corn. corn. Oh, wait, but we didn't get the mermaid. Yeah. <laughs> Una mer kitty corn. There we go. Hey, I like that. 
for you. We also got this Twix pop. That is for after your tryout. If you give 500%. And then I found Haichu watermelon. They give you a free little lollipop. Yep. Oh, uh, Dad got it. It was a dollar donation. He surprised us with some planet gummies. gummies. And a water. Gum. Oh. I didn't even see you get the cigarette bubble gums. You're tricky. All right, no candy until after your tryouts, all right? Okay, guys, we have made it to the soccer tryouts. Braylon had to be here a little early so she could get registered, so she's already down on the field. I uh, just want to let you guys know a little bit about this team that she's trying out for. This is an ODP team. It's an Olympic development program. Uh, basically, girls from all over. Pennsylvania is broken into uh, five different sections for the U13 girls. And based on like a certain radius, you basically filter in to whichever region is closest to you. So the region that's closest to us is a Harrisburg, Lancaster uh, region, which is about an hour and a half, uh, hour and 45 minutes basically um, for us to get here. So it pulls girls from all areas. So you figure if it takes us an hour and 45 minutes to get here, it's pulling girls from a pretty big area to come here and you try out and only one team is made. So there are 28 girls that are trying out for this team and I think they're only keeping 19. So there are going to be uh, cuts. We did come to tryouts last Sunday. Um, this is a two weekend tryout. So last weekend was the first tryout and then this weekend is tryout number two. And then there will be a callback tryout next weekend. Um, if she would make the callback, we would come back next weekend. And then after that, we would find out if she made the team. If she does make the team, these girls meet twice a month on a Sunday evening um, for practices. And again, Braylon probably won't know a lot of the girls, only two other girls from her current team are here for the tryouts. This team will run from October through June, June being their last big tournament that they will do together. Um, so anyway, so Braylon has to go out here and give like a 200%, like 100% isn't even good enough because there are so many girls that are trying out that are basically fighting for those positions because not everybody has a spot. So it's, um, definitely a little stressful for her. It's a lot of uh, competition that she's going up against, um, but we feel good. We, um, you know, told her just to go out there and do her best. That's all you can do. And that's all we asked for her to do. And then we will find out um, on Wednesday if she's going to be coming to the callbacks, which is next Sunday. And if she does, then again, we'd have to wait just to see if she made the team. Okay, we finally made it back. Oh my goodness, what a long, exhausting day. Braylon. <laughs> Braylon's changing her LED lights on us. It has just been a long day and we need to get off to bed. But Braylon, how did you feel your second ODP tryouts went? Good. Better than the first, right? Mm-hmm. Braylon is eating her snack before bed. She has apples in her mouth. <laughs> Comment below if you have a bedtime snack that you always have before you go to bed. Braylon always has to have something to eat before she goes to bed. It's usually apples, um, pretzels. She has like orange slices or mandarin oranges. Um, Sometimes she'll do like a cheese stick and applesauce. But anyway, so I think Braylon did a lot better the second day of ODP. We will find out either Tuesday or Wednesday if she made the team. If she does, she has to go back again next Sunday. And um, basically it's like a third tryout. It's called a callback tryout. And then we'll find out after that if she made the team. So how many girls did they say they were going to keep? 
18. 18 and there was 27 that tried out. So anyway, they were gonna cut nine girls from the team. And so just be thinking about Braylon. We're really hopeful that she makes the team. It'll be a very good opportunity for her. It's gonna be a lot of fun meeting a lot of new girls, learning a lot of different other ways to play soccer, uh, foot skills, technique, um, all sorts of stuff. So we're really hoping that she makes the team. But if not, she knows what she has to work towards for next year and she'll go back out next year and try out for the team. So anyway, so we are gonna head off to bed and Braylon needs to hurry up and eat these apples because she has to go to bed because she has to get up at 6 30 in the morning and she always fights me to get up in the morning and she's already complaining that she doesn't want to go to school tomorrow so I know tomorrow is going to be oh it's not going to go very well when I try to get her up in the mornings okay guys so I hope you enjoyed the video make sure to like subscribe turn on post notifications keep a smile on your face peace